For number one, if I want to add these two, I need to get a common denominator. Now what you'll notice is I already have a common denominator. So it's actually a really simple problem. You All you do is add the tops and leave the bottom. You leave the bottom and add the tops. Now we're not completely done. Can you factor the top? Does the top factor? Yeah, what comes out of these two? X. X. Leaving us X plus 3. And we still have 4X on the bottom. Does anything cancel or are we done? The X's cancel. So I could cancel that with that, leaving myself with X plus 3 over 4. Nothing else cancels because you can't cancel a piece off because the plus is there. We are done. Always be happy when you have a common denominator to begin with. These two, are they the same bottom? No. no. But let's factor this bottom. When you factor this, hopefully you notice it's called a difference of squares. When you factor it, you get something like this. Okay, This is x squared and 3 squared. So it's x, 1's minus, 1's plus. Now this is this. Now can I just cross this out to represent it? I just rewrote it right up below it. Sometimes nice just to kind of write it below it. And I crossed it out because this is my new denominator. It's another form of it. So, in order to get this to have this denominator, what does this one need that this one has? For these two bottoms to match, doesn't this one over here need the x plus 3? It already has an x minus 3, correct? But can I multiply an x plus 3 onto it? So to, to multiply it on the bottom, don't I also have to multiply it on the top? So basically, I'm going to multiply top and bottom by x plus 3. When I do that, do you understand this 11 is going to multiply to both pieces? So here's what you get. You're going to have x minus 3, x plus 3. That's the bottom. For the top, don't you have this x squared plus 2? And for this one, don't, aren't you going to have this 11 multiplied through? So this is going to be 11x, and 11 times 3 is 33. You guys okay with that? We now have the same bottoms. This right here is 11x plus 33. This is x squared plus 2. Are we done? No. no. Can we actually simplify the top? Yeah. Let's simplify the top down. What it looks like we got here is x squared. Isn't that going to be a minus 11x? And then don't we have 2 minus 33? 2 minus 33 is negative 31. Now, can I factor that? Well, isn't 31 prime? So could I find any two numbers that would add up to 11 or negative 11? No. There's no GCF, so that actually is my answer. Nothing else I can do. Could I FOIL out the bottom if I wanted to? Yeah, if it's a multiple choice test and your answer is not in this form on the bottom, you might have to FOIL out the bottom again if they want it. Most of the time you don't want to do that but sometimes they will on a multiple choice test.